And we are live. What's up, everybody? And welcome to the first episode of Counterculture. We're going to be doing some uh, new comic book day discussions today. We're going to be talking about a lot of other really cool things, too. I'm here with my other two guests. This is going to be an ongoing stream, not just on my channel, but we're going to be doing it on theirs as well. Periodically, we'll, you know, we'll give you a little heads up when the change comes. But everybody in the house right now, please welcome two other guests. We got one true nerd king. He just popped in. And after that, we got Skeff's Comic Knowledge. Everything is down low in the description as far as all of their links go. Uh, check it out. They've got a lot of really good stuff. Once you're Nerd King, he is newer to the whole YouTube game. Uh, Skeff, I mean, Skeff's Comic Knowledge. He's got a lot of knowledge and uh, does a lot of comic stuff as well. He puts out very good content. Uh, huge on whatnot. I hear he's actually a legend, a legendary seller on the stream. But uh, seriously, thank you guys uh, for wanting to do this. This is... Uh, Episode one, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm episode excited. One. The episode, I got the check came in today, mail AR. So I'm glad I was able to get on the show right in the check came in. So it, ca- <laughs> it cleared too, by the way. So thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, don't don't go cashing that anytime soon because uh, I don't oh. have any money. <laughs> you know, it did say post dated 2024, so I wasn't sure if it would have cleared or not. Oh yeah, I just uh, I just bought a house, so I'm totally. <clears throat> So, You're getting oh, oh. paid for this, Skeff? Yeah, of I course. Mean, <laughs> did, did, you didn't get, you didn't get a deal? <laughs> this is pro bono work for you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that check's coming soon. More like charity said, cases. Once Tell the first what. one clears, <laughs> I'll, uh, once Skeff's down there clears, um, you'll yeah, get exactly. one clear. What's that one That was a hefty one. That was a hefty one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there was a hell of a new comic book day yesterday, man. Dude, it was... Uh, actually insane i spent way too much money that's insane i left with, all... like, I left, I left with like two short boxes worth of stuff all i literally do okay. all my content <laughs> is new comic book day and i don't i buy 10 books a week that's it i don't even I you bought, know i bought tens of 10 books a week this week <laughs> that's insane <laughs> So, so we've got a man of self control on one side. We got a man that just works in volume on the other side. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I work at the I LCS. Everything I FOC'd so much stuff, it was insane. All the FOCing. I, I don't know. I literally spent thirty dollars. I walk out the shop and it's like, oh my god, I spent thirty dollars on these books, and I know that's nothing. I know that's nothing. That's, yeah. Oh man, I I spent I spent a couple hundred, a couple hundred dollars. I yeah. was close. I was well, actually I wasn't really close, close, but I wasn't I wasn't too far off. But I mean, I I got yeah, I got I got a few stacks of not a few stacks, but I got a good stack of. Let's see here. This is what that's what I came out with. It's not a short box by any way, shape, or form. Not bad, it's a, dude. A good amount of books. This is. Actually, this is only like seven. Actually, hold on, they're right here. <laughs> my uh, like a, my whopping stack, everybody. Oh, very impressive, my friend. This, this is like very you know impressive. what they what, what women think happens in like locker rooms for guys. But this is like with nerds, you know. Like we're not comparing sizes. The size of your no. stack, my stack's no, this high. No, no, no. Like some people no, are no, benching, no. some people are pulling things out with rulers. No. <laughs> We're, we're comparing the size of our stack. <laughs> Skeff didn't even show his because he's got two short boxes worth. Yeah, I'm not I gonna it's right there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick it up. It's it, that box right there. It's filled with. It's yeah, embarrassing. I, I ordered. I ordered a lot of books. Or a lot of books. So, it's, do you actually use a pull list, and you just happen to get all of these books, or do you just show up to the shop like? No, I have. I, I well, so I have no pull list. I don't use a pull list. I use previews previews uh pull box so actually okay. I, I i ordered all my books three weeks ahead of time um, smart man and oh, nice. so with my shop there's a we get i get a deal so if i order all my books ahead of time the three weeks foc i can order as many as i want i'll get 25 percent off the books and i'll also yep. order enough to get the ratios i get the ratios for cover price mm, that's good no yeah, that's good so like, that's great man so that's a lot of money like, though it is, but the trick is that uh, <laughs> normally I'll either – it depends on which one I want more. If I want the cover A's or if I want the ratio, and whichever one I don't want or which one I don't think is going to, like, I, I'll like better, I'll sell the other one to help pay for the funds, right? So, like, this week, uh, the What If Miles came out, right? Yeah. I wanted yeah. the – I wanted 25 copies of the Ibon cello cover, the one where he's in the full suit with the shield, right? 
Uh, is, yeah. if that's the, if that's the ratio, I think it's Ramos. No, no, no it's co- that's the cover C. Ramos oh, is one twenty five. But yeah. the cover C, I want. No, not that one. No, uh, this one's just the one that just, no, it's just him looking one. like Cap. No, it's just really. him looking like Cap. Yeah, yeah I don't know what you're talking him about. Him looking like a, like yeah, the the one cover yeah. C. So order twenty five of those, get twenty five percent off. I get the one in twenty five, and then I end up I sold the one in twenty five already for like for like fifty bucks. So nice. Yeah. Therefore, the close. whole kit the whole kit only cost me seventy nine dollars for all twenty six books. Oh, I've already nice. sold the one twenty five for fifty, which puts me at twenty nine dollars invested in the other twenty nine uh, the other twenty five books. Yeah. So here's the real kicker: Do you actually anticipate being able to sell all of those, or were you hoping that it would be a bigger issue? No, it's one of the things where like I only have twenty nine dollars invested in twenty nine into these twenty five books, so like I'm just gonna sit on them. It's a dollar book too for like a few that, of them, right. like a couple of them not for cover price, and then the rest yeah. is that's yeah, a big cool. like Yeah, I can sell like four or five of them, and like I can sell like four or five of them in like one lot on whatnot, and they'll probably go for like 20, 25 bucks, and there's all of my funds back in your stream. Yes, yes, you could put up <laughs> you could put up a book that's ripped in half, and someone's going to spend a lot of money on it. They might. It depends on if I signed it or not, right? <laughs> I I was gonna say I don't know if you uh, pay these people or what happens, but uh, I, that I, I can't that I cannot afford. I cannot. Afford there's that. there's some people that hop in your streams. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with the the LV account too. There's people that hop yeah. in that stream, and there are books that I just I really don't ha- have any expectations for, and then all of a sudden there's just one or two people that are just going back and forth, and it hits like thirty forty dollars, and I'm thinking, do I just like what I, I there's times where there's times where i say like hey this this is just a you know this is a variant this isn't anything special this isn't an incentive this is you know a like cover b cover c and it's it just goes and so i mean i can't stop you from spending your own money i mean that's, that's why i started off at a dollar right and that's why you start off a dollar which is what i do for most everything in my shows you start off a dollar and uh Sometimes you get to the point where, like, it, it, dude, it happens on eBay sometimes. People, like, you know, you, you just get that. Some people just get into their mind where, like, I'm not going to let the other person get this book. I'm going to get this yep. book. Even if I have to overpay for it, they're not getting it. So yep. it's just one of the things where, like, sometimes the pride takes in, right? You're like, I'm, I'm getting the book. You're not going to get it no matter what happens. <laughs> what was it worth? That. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think oh, yeah. in, in my case, I just grab them when I go in the shop, right? So I'm, I'm as much as I love, you know, um, trying to order ahead. I just I'm not that skilled yet, you know, in this entire thing. It's it's pretty much just. But I'm also just shopping for me. I'm getting one cover, right? I'm not I'm not a reseller right now. I mean, yes, I've got a lot of books, but I have maybe a, a handful of duplicates when they occur. So I'm really just kind of collecting to have that one, right? Um, so, and, and right now too, I'm really deep in indies. So I'm buying Ooh. like almost every single indie book. Cause this is I like believe. a golden age of indie comics right now. In my opinion, like the writing yeah. is so on point and the art is, this is, this is the best time to be into indie comics in general. So, yeah. you know, in my opinion, it, that's, that's a hard thing to keep up with though sometimes cause there's so many of them. It's not as big as like an, um, an X Men tie in series where there's a thousand of them. Stop. But I mean, you know, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no shame. There's a thousand, but, there's a thousand of them. Thousand. There is. There is thousand. It's nuts. Like, you know, House of X, X of Swords, X of everything. And you got to have like 40 different tie ins. And How, what issue do I read the next part of the story? Oh, I don't want to buy this. <laughs> I do. We got a guy, we got a guy that works at our shop. His pull list is strictly X Men. He gets every cover for every single everything. Like whatever is coming out, he gets every single cover for it every time. And uh, that's his jam. Loves the right. X Men. And I mean, I tell him, that's what I said. I said why? I said yep. like I know you love it, but if you like, I don't know if you have any other interest, there's no way that you can afford a regular pull list on top of an X Men pull list. And he's like, well, I only get X Men. That's all I care about. So, See? and that, that's a trick, right? If you, if you, if you, if you collect what you love, you can't go wrong, right? Facts. My shop had like 50 of these second prints. I grabbed a couple of yeah, those. Yeah. A lot of shops yeah. ordered. They definitely, they, they're like, we're not going to miss the boat the second time. No, so. no. I was happy I got a couple though. I have one first, but I grabbed, I grabbed two of these. So it was just like, you know, nice. second prints. 
Can't yep. go wrong. I, we sold a lot of uh, the first ones on whatnot. We our shop actually had quite a lot of them, and he pretty much gave all of them to me to put up on the stream. Nice. So, what do they go for? Uh, I think for the most part they all sold for about fifteen, maybe twenty at the absolute most. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, speaking of not bad though, uh, so Thursday is when I do all the new comic book day incentives and stuff like that on whatnot. Uh, yeah. the week that Black Panther three came out, before anybody literally cared about it, <laughs> I think it sold for like twenty dollars. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Somebody's and, uh, really happy with that sale. That, that's how it goes, though, right? That's just yep. sometimes how it goes. Where you're I mean, find someone who I don't know. I I mean, I even did I did my top ten list, and I talked about the book. I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't even realize it was a first appearance. It's like, oh, this character, cool. I mean, who yeah. cares? And right. then it was maybe three or four days later, everyone was like, "Yo, this is the coolest character ever. It's gonna be great." <laughs> I was like, wait, and then people are posting about how much it's selling for, it, and I and I was looking at that like, oh, that cover, and my yeah. shop's like, do you still have it? And I was like, <laughs> no, that's sold for dirt cheap, my friend. Well, I mean, but that's the thing though, too, right? Like DC was doing this with Tinian and everything that was like every other day it was a brand new character, first appearance. Everything's a key, a key, a key, a key, a key. Oh, in the Batman, key, in the Batman run, in the yeah, Batman, Batman run, right? Everything Batman, yeah. was like. Well, everybody's everybody's kid or great granddaughter or cousin's uncle's best friend's roommate from college all of a sudden was a character in Batman, and yeah. I swear it was it, that was the frenzy. And now it's been lately with Marvel. Marvel's kind of jumped on to me in that mindset of like everything's we've got a new character every day, and yeah, kind of kind of getting a little say it's, it's well, not as cool. annoyed. I, I'm not. I'm not mad about it because it is what it is, and everybody needs everybody needs new characters. But I'm getting desensitized to it, right? So it's just kind of like uh, again, you know, where like by the time Miracle Molly rolled around, I was just like, uh, Oops, another, right? right? <laughs> yeah, it's like and, another and now, one. Yeah, and and now everybody is just like, or like when Punchline was coming in, and everybody's freaking out the heck about that. I'm just kind of like, calm down. Tozen will be easily got again in another six weeks you know, or whatever his name is. is now, just... I'm going to be honest. I actually, uh, I think going forward, that's actually going to be a big character. And I didn't know this, but someone actually uh, brought it up to me. Uh, hold on. The name actually has like a really good meaning. Uh, I'll happily shiver. eat crow. I don't, I am never above being wrong. But uh. part of me is just kind of like, I'm just, there's just so many. I can't. There are there are a lot. There are a lot. I mean, but it has been a, it has been a a minute since a book has hit a price point of this magnitude. Oh, for um, a new comic book day book, absolutely. Uh, the last one I remember of this magnitude was uh, I don't know if you guys remember when the Robin King came out, where that yes. like one twenty five no... hit. Like... What I was gonna I was gonna say I don't think that hit nearly these types of levels. No, the one in twenty five hit three hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It hit three, Man, yeah. Uh, I've got up to three hundred. It fell as, back. As, but yeah, oh, but yeah, then it just tanked. But like you said, like yeah. it, and it, people read it. <laughs> yeah, like, people read it. Yeah. <laughs> people read it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but upon week of release, cover A's were twenty five to fifty, and then the one in twenty five hit three hundred dollars. I and remember like, cover A's, best. right? And so it's been a minute, and that's the last one I can think of that had such a a massive price impact on this community since this, book. this one was definitely crazy. Now I, I yeah. did end up finding it. So I'm gonna like I said before, I really didn't think it was gonna be anything that crazy. Like I was like, oh yeah, you know, a kid, you know, maybe going forward it could be really cool. But I don't know if you guys saw it at all, but the name Tosin actually like uh so it says it's Nigerian origins and it means worthy of worship. So with that being said, the name literally means worship. And with the logic behind it of, oh, maybe he's going to be the next Black Panther, maybe the next King of Wakanda. The name literally has it in it about worthy of worship. So is he supposed to be like, you know, like Storm's child as well, too? I mean, like, and she was yeah, the god. I think so. Um, I thought that there was some tying with that. And, and she the geek says, too, you know, like Black Panther 3, this mm -hmm. kid's supposed to be the new Miles Morales. I think. 
we still need to really give Miles Morales his due before we give Tozen or whoever that like, it is. The, you know, all the, these new characters. Yeah. I think I think Miles is still overdue for his time. Like everybody's like, it's the new Miles, but Miles hasn't really even been able to come into his own yet, in my opinion, in 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 pop culture. So that's not even a close to realized stock, in my opinion. No, I agree with that because this new series is fantastic with Miles Morales, but at the same time, he's not making a like wide scale impact. Like you said in Marvel, the Marvel universe, he just kind of is existing in his own little series. I think he made an appearance in a couple other ones. Uh, he was in the amazing Spider-Man for an issue or two, but at that same time, he's still sticking to just his series. Primarily. He's not really doing anything else. So like I said, I can agree with that too. Yeah. But, uh, on the, on the topic of spec, I, Someone, someone actually messaged me the other, or I, I think it was either today or later yesterday. Uh, they asked, and I was going to bring it up earlier when you were talking about the what if Miles Morales, you bought all of them. And that's why I asked that question. Somebody hit me up and was like, do you think this is going to be a really good spec book going forward? Do you and I was like, why? And they said, you know, first appearance of Miles is Cap. And I was like, hold on. What, <laughs> what was the title? What if? It's a what if book, right? <laughs> <laughs> and... I don't know. I was just thinking about that, well, and I like sat on it. Isn't Jane Foster's first appearance of Thor in a What If book? But I don't think that one's really. I mean, that one has value, but at the same time, right. I don't. Is it really uh, necessarily canon if it's What If? See, I that's mean, what I think too. It is. I don't think it's Marvel canon if it's What If. I mean, really? they made the animated series canon, right? Did they? Uh, well, well shit, yeah. Like, I mean, practically, they... we do see we do oh. see what's her name and Captain uh, Captain Carter in the Multiverse of Madness, right? So I mean, and the zombies were there too. Yeah, just saying. So I mean, well, like, now there there is a different book though. Um, well, I mean, like, but canon sure, in Marvel it's... Comics continuum though. No, I'm not talking different. Like the MCU. It's different. Yeah. No, I, that's I, where I, a first appearance is it really a first appearance then though, right? Because I mean is it canon then? Is it now I think if anything, the only reason that that what if was it what if 10 uh with Jane Foster, the only reason that I think that does have value and holds value is because they actually made a real series of Jane Foster taking over as Thor. So yeah. I think in people look at that like oh well technically is this not the first appearance because it's what if but I think that's the only reason it has any actual significant value. If they wouldn't have made Jane Foster into Thor, I don't think that would have meant anything in the true. grand scheme this, of things. This is very true. Very true. But I mean, there's another book. Like, so this What If Miles Captain America, we've seen that cover before. It was that Miles Morales Spider Man number 28, where it's a Captain America 80th anniversary book, where it's, <laughs> it's, it's him and his oh, Miles no. outfit holding the shield. Yeah. So, I mean, that is technically, that can be his first like cover like homage to like Captain America Spidey hole in the shield. So I think You're that's the wrong. book that you would want to get. And sure, this could be the guts of like Miles' first cap. But that's why, I mean, like I ordered 25 and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at the end of the day too, you got, you got, you got them for basically a dollar a piece is Basically. pretty much going to pay for itself no matter what even in a dollar bin so yeah. you're not you're not going to lose any lose sleep on that investment. that's a great cover too the bond cover is very similar to the uh miles and Ralph 28 captain america cover very similar and i think they're both stunning cool so is your game plan to be uh to be doing that for the other what if issues as well because I think it's a five issue mini series of Miles is what if there's going to be I think Hulk Wolverine Wolverine's next yeah yeah that one's yeah. going to be cool it'll He's be cool no. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm going to pretty much stick with the cap like the Hulk is cool with the Wolverine it's just like the cap is if, if anything would be the most feasible out of all of them probably mainly because it's uh, the first one and then you brought up that cover I actually forgot about that cover and that cover that cover is sick isn't it it's a cover. It's yeah, a sick cover. Like Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. Don says Thor as well. Forgot about that yeah. one. Thor, I think, was yeah. the other one. I think that'd be all four or five then. Yep. She Geek, anything anything Miles is hot, absolute fact. And Truth and Faith. Yeah. Got a good uh, comment too. Watch Miles and Gwen multiverse set up massive. I mean, they're, they are milking it. Uh, that was Manny. Manny said they're milking it. I totally agree with that. But at the same time, oh, those yeah. are 
those are two very popular characters that really don't get as much like we said respect that they deserve no, no. and they don't have a lot of stuff like look at gwen i just bought the omnibus but other than that i mean she doesn't really have all that much i think miles has what three omnis now or yeah. two two yeah, or three I think the, 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 another one just came out i think on the foc i saw a couple weeks back there was another miles omnibus I oh really? Well, I mean, oh yeah. When, yeah, you yeah. Make a, when you've made a million different kinds of Spider-Man, it's nice to see that two of them finally stuck. <laughs> oh, being my, I mean, I, I mean, like, I love me, I love me some Spider Woman, Spider Girl, Spider Boys. <laughs> One's gonna stick. Yeah. Well, exactly. two did. Two did. Right. And and Spider Man's yeah. great. Everybody knows I collect the hell out of her. I'm I'm a huge my daughter's Gwen. She's a Spider-Man fan. Spider Gwen. 100 percent all day, right? But um, and then Miles coming in, 100% refreshing. Love the story. Love the concept. The way he 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 was in Ultimate Fall, Fallout. Um, I enjoyed that arc as well. Um, I'm glad to see them sticking. But I do want to see them. I, I want to see them in more play, in more live action concepts. I don't want to just keep on seeing them in Into the Spider-Verse kinds of sony situations where I, I think it's cool they're this is a hell of a lot of fun it was still one of my favorite spider movies but i would like to see them live action live action in my opinion that'll be oh, that'll be hard man definitely. sony owns them sony owns them that makes it Good that makes sony. it a challenge right I mean, you can't blame Sony for what they're doing either. They are at this point trying to pump every single thing out spider relating because I think at some point they're just going to try to sell it all as one. Like, oh, yeah, well, we already made this character, this character, this character. We have these movies. So if you want Spidey, you got to buy it all. Yep. You're not just gaining one right. You want you need all the rights. The cost of yep, it's insane. The cost of Spidey is going to be equivalent to the if not more than what it costs Disney to get the entire Marvel Universe. It's gonna be crazy. it's it's gonna be up there. Yeah. It's gonna be big news when it happens, though. Right, but it'll be it's interesting. But yeah, so but as of right now, we have the across the Spider Verse animations, and I enjoy them for what they are. And I oh, they're I very good. The next one. Oh yeah, it was still one of the best Spider Man movies that uh, to that date. Honestly, until until No Way Home, I, 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 Into the Spider Verse was my favorite Spider Man movie. Like it was like it just it it checked every box. A hundred percent. And that was something I haven't had since the first Tobey Maguire kind of like, Ooh, you know, when I first saw Spider-Man yeah. swing, you know, because I'm yep. I'm old enough. I'm dating myself to be like a teenager in the movie theater. I, saw, I, saw, like, I saw the movie theaters. Yeah, but too. just like seeing the swinging, you like left the movie theater and you just kind of had this weird way of just looking at the world. Right. All of a sudden it's just like, wow, you could you could they could do that. It happened, you know, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, that was my first time since then. So, and you can watch it with anybody, even even a casual fan that doesn't know yeah. much about Spider Man, and just be totally in the universe. It was yeah. great. I yeah. agree. And I mean, what you said with that too. I I'm someone who doesn't really rewatch movies. I'm like a one and done. I don't like to rewatch. Oh. I've seen that movie multiple times. The Into the Spider Verse, like it it really is that good. Yeah, it is. It, is. it really is. Uh, Truth and Faith. I actually have an autographed Greg Horn uh, picture poster of Spider Gwen here. Um, I'll have to I'll have to post it up online afterwards. I got it from um, Pink Moon Comics. So yeah, I, yeah. Us Yo, G is the man. Me. Yeah, I miss G's him. A, he's a good guy. I he's haven't talked to guy. him in a very long time. I met him at a Dallas Fan Expo when I went there. I guess was it last year? Now I met really? him. I met a uh, Comic Talks. He was there. Oh yeah, um, somebody him, else was there Justin, too. Justin James, uh, comics for cheap. They usually run together pretty tight. He wasn't there um, that time. He couldn't make it. Dusty uh, would usually run with them around then too. Yeah, um, but yeah, that was yeah. I'm 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 in a chat with them and yeah, good 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 people. Uh, G was actually one of the first people that sold me comics. So he's actually mine as well. Here. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but uh, I check in every once in a while. It's our gateway drug. <laughs> hey so i know i know phil you're pretty much on the east coast skeff i don't know exactly where you live but are either of you close enough to philly by any chance i am I, i'm a plane ride from philly so not that close i'm in indiana not that close. Oh. I know, he's a Hoosier. i'm a michigander like we are minute we, we, we're like just a couple of hours away from each other i used to live in fort wayne so i mean oh, nice. i used to be in indy all the time for um because uh, my sister is there and everything else, so I'm not. I'm about three hours from Indianapolis, three and a half nice. hours. Okay, um, nice. maybe four. 
But yeah, from Philly drive wise, though, I mean, yeah, no. if I could make it from Fort Wayne in to New York, I think in about eight nine hours, um, it's doable, but it's not. Like a hop, skip, <laughs> I feel you. I was only asking because uh, Philly Fan Expo is coming around. I think the beginning April. of April. Yeah, yep. I'm going to be going to that. So because it's only like it's well under an hour for a drive for me. That's cool. So wait, where are you at? Uh, I live in Allentown now, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. So it's uh fairly close. Finally moved back, yeah. missed it. Yeah, the Indianapolis one is at the same time as my local Comic Con here. So that's the reason I haven't been to the Indianapolis one the last couple of years. Since I moved up here, I tried to stay local. So I got you. there's <laughs> um there's actually gonna be but, there's gonna be one near you um in Elkhart, Indiana this weekend. Oh yeah, I know Elkhart very well. That's where the the comic book shop is there. The 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 museum. Nice. Yeah, yeah. They're having the Hall of Heroes convention Saturday, Sunday in Elkhart. Oh, I, nice. I'm not. Yeah, it's this weekend. I I don't think I'm gonna get that because there's another there's a a Kokomo Con on Saturday, and then there's another show Sunday that I'm I'm making to both those instead. The, other, the Elkhart one's like a three hour drive, so I'm just like that's a little far. I'll be at the Tampa Bay Comic Con in the end of July. Just like last time, that's my nice. that's my second appearance with Doyle Comics. But um, ah, Doyle's yeah, well, a good guy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a good guy. He is a good guy. So he uh, he he drags me down and lets me hang out there with him for a few days, and we go, you know, hang out. So is he from That'd your area as well, or is he? Florida? No, he's he's he lives in Tampa. That's so what I thought. I thought he lived down south. Yeah, he, he is the base of operations. So I, I, I go and I crash. <laughs> his, his wife is too kind. Too kind. She, she, lets nice. his, she lets his friends come by and hang out once in a while. So That's very yeah, nice. Super good. Super good time. But yeah, I, I'm i going to be at that show. But otherwise, it's going to be kind of a quiet next month or two for me. I don't yeah, I don't think else. there's too many other shows that I'm aware of. Oh. I, know, I know PA's got a weird one going on uh, in March or May, I think. Uh, but I don't know. Probably nothing too crazy. My, my, my con tour starts. Which one? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go, go, go. go. I'm oh, sorry. My, uh, I'm going on a insane con tour. Uh, once May hits, I'll be I'll be on oh, yeah? like 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 at least like five shows and like five or six shows in like four months. Are you uh, a vendor over... or are you no, just no. like shopping? Yeah, he's so, a whatnotter. Uh, you know that he's yeah. a legend on the app. Well, I know. <laughs> Don't question are him. They'll sell at cons. So I know so some I'll people be, sell at cons in no, both. No, I don't, I don't. I want no booth for me or anything like that. I'll just be set up, and I'll probably just sell from the whatnot booth. But I mean, I'm going to MegaCon in May. Uh, going to Star Wars Celebration in May. Uh, then I'm going to it's like D23, and then C2E2, Dallas Fan Expo, Fan X. I'll be at C2E2. Yeah, I would perfect. like to go to C2E2. Come, dude, it's a phenomenal. When is show. it? It's a three day show. It's August, beginning of August. Yeah. Mm, it was this year. Rage. It was in December, and I skipped it because it was so close to Christmas and everything else going on. But yeah, it was fun. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I'm not. I got something to do in August. I don't know if. Oh, uh, those, those, I have mixed feelings about those books. I have mixed feelings. Well, very mixed feelings about. I like those books. Mac. I like I, them a lot. I like Mac, but I don't like with the covers. I don't – how do I explain this? So it's not a ninth printing. So it's like – for me, since uh, it's like – yeah. It's like – for me, it's like it's like oh, it's kind of like a glorified true believer. I see what that is. They're diamond. See what you're trying to do to me. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. It's a beautiful set. It's a beautiful set. But I'm like, if it's not a ninth print, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> I'm interested to see – because they're going to do – they're going to also do 11 through 15 too, right? Yeah, Most likely, yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah, cool. Wait, I so have a collection of them. So to confirm, you said that uh, it's not considered a ninth print. If you it's open just... that number one, it's just a reprint. It's just a like diamond exclusive five book set from David Max. So like you can open up or look in the back, whatever. Nowhere in there does it say it's like it's a printing. It's like see, that's a... what I thought. I sold one of them on uh, one of our whatnots uh, for LV. And yeah. someone, someone in the thing was like, "Is this just uh, are these variants or are these 
printings, like extra prints. And I said, I'm going to be honest. I've never opened one. I don't know for <laughs> sure, but I was like, I don't think, I don't think they're deemed a print. I think it's literally like a David Mack, just exclusive, uh, through diamond diamond. And, uh, there was a lot of comments that was like, no, it's a ninth print, ninth print. And I was like, oh, I guess, I guess I'm wrong, but I had no so, idea. No, yeah. yeah ninth so. print. I would have bought 25 of them, but they're not a ninth printing. So I bought zero of them. <laughs> That's the same amount I have. Nice zero. <laughs> They're beautiful covers. Absolutely beautiful covers. Yeah, I got a set like, of each. If I could find just the number one, I would buy just the number one. But that, they want me to buy all five. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. Yeah. 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 No, I can appreciate that. I, I can. For me, it was just, I'm I'm a sucker for sick tick. I, there's no, yeah, but there's, so. there's no wrong, but there's no wrong reason to pick it up. You picked it up because you love it, yeah. right? That's yeah, that and that's, that's, that's not the, so that's that's the thing about comics. I mean, you, you do what you love, yeah. and that's just yeah. what it is. Don't um, ever, yeah, like, yeah, don't have, don't defend yourself for buying it. I, on the other hand, was just like, yeah, not nice printing, hard pass. <laughs> yeah, I, with all the different indie shows that we do on on Mondays and whatnot, I'm probably gonna put them in a giveaway eventually, something to that effect. Um, you know, just to kind of build some steam. But at the end of the day. I, I just, it's kind of one of those things like, oh, yeah, I need that. I need one of those. I need one of those. <laughs> it makes you happy. That's half the battle. Yeah. Yes. Very true. Very true. So let me ask you this, too. Do you have actually one through 15, like various printings, cover A's, like anything? Do you have the actual books? All right. I wasn't sure yeah. if, like. Wait, me you know, or him? Austin and Phil. Well, oh, I know you I got guess. it, Skeff. I know you yeah, got it. I just. <laughs> so I in. <laughs> this time last year, because taxes were coming around, I was just like, I need to make a, a little bit extra to cover everything. Um, I sold my cover A first, and it was she was minty AF. 100%. Do I want to know how much you sold it for? I, you can You you want to know how much I sold it for? Oh, I'll be I'll cry. I'm gonna cry on camera because I didn't know you then. <laughs> I, um, I sold it for eight fifty. That's good Wait, though. Ungraded? Yeah. You, you, an ungraded? They were selling for damn near a thousand ungraded at one point. Well done on your part. Perfect timing. Well done, my yeah. friend. I held on, but I, I I made sure and I took high def video, oh, edges, copy. everything. Ungraded like nobody nobody was screwing with me about the you're like, uh, I don't know about it. No, 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 no. I have the cameras. I will show wow. you an edge. You will see it. And you know what? I uh, I totally believe him, too. You want to know why? Because look at that quality. That is wild. <laughs> this dude's living in the future with that camera quality. Look at you got Skeff and I. Our shit's like caveman whoa, whoa, whoa. quality. Whoa, mine, mine's pretty good. I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro Max here. A 13 Pro Max. I'm Wait, gray not bad for iPhone. Wait, you can I'm... do that on StreamYard? This is my – this right here. iPhone. That's an phone. iPhone? 13 yeah. Pro Max, baby. This is how I shoot all my videos with this phone. This is why you're a legend, dude. Right here. <laughs> Everything I've done and shot is with my phone. Everything. I have like, I used... this really tiny baby light that I use. Like That's right here. It's a little light. That's it. All I do. That's legit. It's I, used to, I used to use my Note 9, and then I upgraded to an iPhone. And then I just said, screw it, I'm going to buy a camera, and uh, I don't know how to use it, so I just I don't, turn it on and I, call it a day. So if you look at this face, this face, very, very radio. simple. I am, I am, no, it's a face for whatnot, so therefore you don't even see it. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not, a, I try, I have enough going on in my life where I don't need anything more complicated. So when I could just use my phone, hit play, yes, I know camera systems are better, and I know I got to like, ang I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not learning. I'm not. Doing so, it. <laughs> so you're telling me you're not like the other whatnot sellers that like to put their face on the camera while they sell a book, going like, "Ooh, so look what I have next." Does this face? Will this give me any more money? No. <laughs> yeah, I'd I'd buy more books then. I'd I'd hop oh in that if I God. knew that's if I knew that's the face that was selling me the book. I'd be all over it. But here's the trick, right? Here's the trick. So on whatnot, I don't show mm -hmm. my face, right? Because I have to leave the lure of you know, surprise. So, hey, if you want to see the face, go check out the YouTube. And then see, I have them go to the YouTube. No. That's how I kind of do that. See, this is why your slab sell for so much money, because you just see that reflection. 
<laughs> that's it and they're I, like oh is that part have, of the is that part of the book or is that what is it i need the book him. now i need to find out I'm okay i have more that. cameras okay than i have comics i have more i have more lenses than comics yeah i need, right, I need right, that you just have did you see All the right. thing you just put up that was a, that was a telescope you could see the moon that with that telescope? thing i thought that i thought that was something else i it thought looked that was like entirely telescope. something else inappropriate holy, sh holy hell all right peter mckinnon we got you we got you you're nerd you're king very... hardcore <laughs> truth yeah, and faith Oh man! <laughs> and that's, Thanks, Jay. that's my like three shelves. So yeah, that's yeah. I that's don't. Mine. There is there is not a single camera in my entire house. <laughs> There's yeah. not one camera in this humble abode. <laughs> not even in this. Yeah, little these hole. are these are my babies. This is but but this is what I do, right? So this is you know photography, videography. If if I didn't come correct what the hell? in one of these, would you wouldn't you be a little concerned? So this is like um, for bird no, watching. No more pepper, and... please. I don't need any more pepper. You can take the, the pepper <laughs> grinder away. I'm all done. Thank you. I'm all good. Have a thank no more. Hey no, man, no more. You get to flex on your slabs. I get to on my lenses. All right. So give me, give me what I have, okay? <laughs> So at least you guys oh. have things to flex with. I just like I'm just you just have over 85 here. omnibuses behind you. I yeah, dude, I 85. swear to God, you're like a library right. of Congress right. of comics. I thought I thought I for a second I'm like, is that Jem Mint? Jem Mint's looking good. Now Jem Jem's got a hell of a collection. I absolutely do not have a collection like that. I, I like the ones I, I have, but uh I, I don't have anything. The, the only I've only got one book that's like one of yours there, and that's this. Oh, I got that I one do. up there somewhere. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I got that one. There it is. I got, I got, I got <laughs> five is. of those. One's, I one's have... a hard cover. One's a hologram. One's a... <laughs> man. Now I wish. I wish. Uh, I, I wish I got his. What is that? Oh, Batman. I thought you were about to pull this. out Why the Last Man at first. It kind of no, looked like the only was. omnibus I own. This is it. See, I've actually moved away from most of my singles. Like, I, outside of new comic book day stuff, I haven't bought comics in a super long time, mainly because of the price. Uh, but I just, what do I do? I put it on, I put it in a box and I call it a day. At least these, I read most of them. Some of them are still new. Yeah. But they're, they sit there, I can look at it. That's true. They're way too heavy. Well, I'm, I'm not a, if, if you look at me, I'm not a very strong guy. They're just, I, they're so heavy. It's such a it's such a difficult thing for me to carry them and lift them. I'm not a very strong individual, so it's just like oh, I get exhausted. There's so much extra work. <laughs> I tell people like, look, if I was spending time in the gym all the time, I, I would never have been in a comic book shop. So, you know, yeah, at, at the end of the day, yeah. this is you have you have the guy that you have here. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm. Uh, I'm 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 100% in the same boat. I am not like the big hulking dude to go running around with it. But I did for this though because Saga was coming back. I never read it, and the guys were like, "Dude, like you have if you've never if you've never read Saga, like this is just stupid. You need to just get in good. and get on." I it. haven't so read mine yet. That's the way to do it. It's, it's just still there. No, it's been sitting there for a very long time, and. uh all the videos, every time I do a video and Saga pops up, everyone's like, yo, what'd you think of it? And I'm like, ah, I guess you didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I was there really bad, but now I'm, now I'm good. I've caught up. I've caught up. Nice. So I'm actually currently reading, uh, the alias on the bus still. It, uh, oh. it's, it's actually extremely well written. It's very good. Uh, it pulled me in right away. The only problem I'm having okay. with it uh bendis bendis oh, yes. so i'll tell you what that artwork is so bad it's horrible oh it makes it i don't i can't read it because the artwork's so bad it's i've got about halfway through and i'm at the point where it's like yo this is You're this like, is getting nope yeah i've pushed nope. it off the side the story is so good but there's so many times the panels are just completely reused and it's like and maybe the facial expression like her eyes will move one direction and that's it it's it's unbearable. It's so bad that Skeff just dropped off the show. Yeah. <laughs> that, He's just like, it was so bad, I can't even do this anymore. I quit. <laughs> he said I quit. <laughs> I quit. Dude, no. But I, I'm I'm there with you 100%. It's, I'll bring him back then. Uh, yeah, when he makes it back. Yeah, I'm – I. 
Jessica Jones, great. You know, a lot of the other different characters. Are we, are we done with the Jones funny. conversation yet? Is this over? Well, that's just, we, we, we were, we, that's what we said. We were just like, like, it was no. so bad she had to leave the show. No. <laughs> if I, it, I'm out. If I had the book next to me, I honestly would bring it. I would open it to a random page, and I'm willing to put money on it that it would just be complete trash artwork. And I usually don't say it that often. I That artwork is bad. I usually am pretty nice about it. And I say, you know what? The artwork just isn't for me. It's not it's for just... me. No, that artwork, <laughs> it is not good. It is so bad that it's pulling away from the actual story. And I don't even want to finish the damn story. And I think it's very good. Right. Oh, it's been, exactly. it's been sitting there for weeks. I'm like, it looks like I'm actually three fourths the way through and I can't do it anymore. Don't so do me. we think, do we think we'll get Jessica Jones back in the MCU? I think so. I mean, they're pulling her show. They're pulling the show into Disney now. Not the Jessica Jones that we knew from Netflix per se. And it's definitely going to be edited. You're not going to see Luke Cage like we got to before. No, but, you're, you're, I bet you're going to. Yeah. On Disney say, Plus? Yeah. I, gonna be, I, think they, gonna I thought be, they said they're going to be doing a censored version on Disney Plus. I'm sure, there, I'm sure there is going to be a censored version, but they actually didn't mention that there's going to be like a parental guidance. Oh, those shows parental those guidance yes yeah i thought it would go to hulu at first when they announced it nope. but it's going to disney plus I'm... and there's gonna be parental guidance with those certain shows uh so I'm you can watch all of that you want of that scene oh, i'm pretty excited yep. then i think um <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not well that's that so, goes ooh, my, my interest is peaked again <laughs> oh time to pull out my camera let's see what's going on here <laughs> Hmm. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, I think, well, you know, she was a, she was a photographer too, pal. Um, no, I, I'm just she interested was. to see, I would really, I'm really excited about obviously Charlie Cox coming back as daredevil <laughs> and making this appearance. I just, I would love to see if anybody else gets to make it back, it would be Jessica to me. I would want it to be Jessica Jones. Um, oh, you want to want, you want to want, you want to want Finn, you don't want Finn Jones to come back. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no. Luke Although, Cage what's her was, name? Luke Cage was good. Luke Cage was Luke Cage was okay. Luke Cage was okay. It, it, it got it was okay. The best thing about Luke his, Cage, his villains were Cotton terrible. Mouth, was Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth was the best thing about Luke Cage, and they killed him too far, yeah. too early, too in. Yes, Marshala Ali. No villains. Yes, Marshala Ali was the best thing about Luke Cage. Blade in my he's Blade now. Now he's Blade. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They realized that when everybody went ape shit about oh, them man. out and out. Yo, it all came together. Happened, I had no I idea that was him. I knew I recognized him from somewhere and I couldn't put it Oh on. man, I still heard oh, it. I'm just, like, no? oh, yeah, yeah just right now. He was cotton mouth. Oh. He was phenomenal. Wow. Yep. Mm. And that's those, that's the see, reason honestly, that's the whole reason why I didn't like Luke Cage after that, because they killed him in that no show. And I was he was so he was such a great villain. And yeah. I'm just not used to, I'm, I'm, I just wasn't, I wasn't into the next. Invested. No. no, no I felt I the wasn't. same with, uh, actually, yo, Don, Don, that's exactly where I was going. No Punisher love. I was going to say, I think the Punisher. Give, give a second. We're running around the clock here. Yeah. We'll move around in a circle. I, I thought the show was pretty bad, but he clearly is incredible as the Punisher. Um, but that show to me was uh, it was pretty bad. I, well, I, I, I rewatched. I rewatched it recently, and like it is, it is a very choppy kind of like where where are we going here? But then John Barenthal is literally like just just carrying you through, and you're just like you're just living vicariously through him. Yeah, his um, his back has got to be hurting through that series. He's carrying yeah. everybody. That's it's phenomenal. But he will. He he's a great Punisher. Yeah, the first season was pretty okay. decent. I'll give it that. Yeah. Decent's a good way to put it. I actually don't think I finished season two. That one was bad. I, that was bad. That one was bad. No, no, I wasn't. I, I wasn't going to lose any sleep over it. I, um, it was okay, but at, at the same time, too, Blumenthal was a great. Is a great. Was a great Punisher. I wouldn't mind him coming either. I would like to see the those. I would like to see those guys make it into the MCU a little bit more definitively. I'm hoping 
But at the same time, man, just get my X Men in there and things of that nature. I, I guess I can I can deal with everybody else not making it if we can get some Patrick Stewart reality in this next oh, universe you, of madness. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be Picard who's gonna be in that scene. By the way, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Be if it was Jean Luc, <laughs> 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 or if or if it was like if they bonered us, if they boner us, if they boner us they like could. they did they in Scarlet Witch. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Just him shows up and uh, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, Scotty, go ahead and take me out of here, please. You, Thank you. You guys can just remove me from the comic book community. He just he just stands up and just walks and away. Just walks can you away. can you imagine that if he just pops in and it's just like, oh wait, I'm not supposed to be here, and he just leaves right away? I'd be like, or if like, he like beams like, in, if he yeah. beamed in. <laughs> yeah. Well, remember that scene from that Deadpool would be, that would be funny. Remember that scene from Deadpool two where he like. Where are all the X Men? You think we able to afford yeah. this? And like off to the room, they're yeah. just like, close the yes. door. <laughs> yes. That's all they could afford. It turns yeah, like I love that. that. I love that. No, I'm I'm there for it. I would love that. I would love that. I got high so hopes for X-Men? that movie though. Which one? The Doctor Strange. Oh, every oh. everyone and their their mother is counting on this movie to just be the uh, launch pad for the next phase of the MCU. I Tucker think so Bell too. The new Tony to, is he's going to be the new RDJ of the MCU. Uh, Cumberbatch is, is going to be the new RDJ of the MCU. Oh, if he makes it through this movie, I I, I don't know what's what's his name uh, said that Cumberbatch is going to be the most important character in this next phase of the MCU. Right, um, but which version of him though? Uh, touche. Right. Here it comes they're going to incorporate the comic books. And then we just finished up Death of Doctor Strange. So, oh, shit. Right? So it's going to be interesting. Like, which version of this Strange? Because I think there's going to be three different versions of Strange in this movie. See, Uh, I didn't pick up Strange because I didn't finish Death of Doctor Strange because it sucked. I didn't either. This is the J. Scott Campbell cover. Yeah. But this is a J. Scott Campbell cover. That's different. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I have a problem with J. Scott Campbell cover. Ever since Gen 13, I've had a problem with not picking up J. Scott Campbell covers. And I was getting it. I'm like, I should get the A because I always get the A. That's the A is hideous. I always get the, the A. A is hideous. There's um, a nice art germ one. The art germ is great. Uh, my favorite is the – yeah, I think my favorite is the – Archer one, or the I don't know. Campbell and Archer are good. Both are good. Well, Both and that, that's a truth and faith brings up a good point, though. I mean, Kingpin is officially a part of the MCU. You know, um, yeah. he's in there, and yeah. that is that was Charlie Cox in there. So, I mean, it's it's logical that we could be getting some of the other ones. But yes, I do not want. I don't want the old. I, I at least don't want the Iron Fist. Honestly, oh, I never bought into Jones. I never bought into a white <laughs> a, a rich white boy becoming the center of the Middle East kind of superpowers. I never bought into that bullshit. So I never liked Iron Fist to begin with. I liked Luke Cage, but I could just never buy into a Danny Rand, the great white hope of all of ancient, you know, uh, I, I I couldn't I couldn't you I couldn't you didn't you're it. telling me you didn't enjoy the movie The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise? <laughs> No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Shan Chi, though, I freaking loved. Shan Chi was great. I loved that movie. That was what was the, what was the faceless creature's name? Uh, like Horace, or what was his name? Or something, something ridiculous. Ben, yeah. ben Kingsley. What's that creature's name? Someone in the chat, help me out. Who was? Uh... I, say, I didn't watch that one. You, you didn't see Shan Chi? Oh, I know. Oh shit! I thought we were still talking about the Last Samurai. No, that oh, was no, Carol Joseph Tom Samurai Cruise being the great white hope of the Last Samurai, along with the Danny yeah. Rand. Uh, no, God, yes, yeah, yeah Chang Chi was great. I loved it. That one was guys saw in the uh, theaters. It was really yes, fun. Uh, and Strange Academy does need to be a Disney Plus show. Absolutely, Don. It, I, with it. the with with the prices they're asking for these books, it better. It's, it's <laughs> yes. getting expensive. <laughs> yes, so expensive. it is. I got every so single expensive. one of those covers too. The first editions, every single one. I've got one of each. Good. Or, How much you want for actually, them? <laughs> I, I've, I've got actually the Scotty Young ones, the Scotty Young exclusives. I've got them autographed. I've got eight of those. I missed I out on that those. on those, that one. Those you can keep. I don't want that one. That one I don't want. Damn, those you don't like Scotty like Young? I love Scotty Young. I just hate that Scotty Young cover. 
I Which like one? His... his exclusives or the ones yeah, that I don't, no, no, no. I like the cover the cover A he did uh for the for the Strange Academy run. I enjoyed the oh, cover okay. A. I didn't enjoy the exclusive he did from his website. Oh, okay. Yeah. That I just was didn't the like one that. I got, I got eight That's... of. Because you know what? Well, well Skeff said price. your cover sucks. So <laughs> Well, those, that, those that's are still going for cover price like two months after the books <laughs> came out. Like that was the one site that hadn't sold them. So I was like, that was one they of the, the ways last... that might let people know what was going on. It was like, oh, hey, you can still get this book for dirt cheap and you can even get it that autographed. That was the last one to sell out. Yeah, yep. that was the last yeah. one to sell out. And as soon as I found out, it was sold out. Oh, no. Uh, it was there the whole time. It was. It was there the whole time. I even like, looked at it like, I don't like that cover. I like that I'll agree, though. The cover's not that nice. He's done right, better. Compared to like, right. Compared to his other ones, yeah. It wasn't as fun. It was just a group shot. Yeah, it was. It wasn't right. bad, though. It was, it was easy. No. It was easy. Like, you know what? Actually, one of the best Spider-Man covers is done by Scotty Young. If you Which haven't one? seen the cover for Non-Stop Spider-Man by Scotty, it's, hmm. mwah, it's perfect. It's a phenomenal cover. You haven't seen a picture of that one. Is that the one with him and Green Goblin? It's it's it has all it's just Spidey in the middle swinging through and it has like his rogue gallery like just like there's like a oh, cloud from Mysterio there's a tentacle coming in you see a yeah it's actually really cool nonstop Spider Man number one by Scotty I have eight of those I'm just waiting for a, a show for him to get, signed, get those signed yeah it's I actually really the, like that cover the, the Ghost Rider Scotty Young was really good last week too that was a the good Ghost Rider on the, on, the, on the scooter on the little scooter yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a really good one, yeah. too. <laughs> that was good. I missed that one. I missed that one. I missed yeah. the whole book the day it came out. I've got the Avengers versus X-Men Scotty Young thing up here on my wall. My my dumbass, I'll tell you what. If it's not on my pull list, I totally forget that it even exists. I just, like, oh, I walk man. in. I'm like, cool, here are my books. This is obviously all <laughs> of my books. And then I get home, and then I realize I forgot books every time. See, and that's the trick. So I don't have a pull list, so every week I know what I have to get. Oh, that's so cool. That's, is that the print from his website? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And the, the, nice. the, the, honestly, honestly, the, the print was like 15 bucks from his website or something like that. It's the Good freaking weird-ass sized frame. That costs seventy dollars. <laughs> is, that a, is, that, what, is it a twelve by eighteen? Oh no, 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 no! This is like this is this is, I mean, this is wider than me. no. This is a so pretty it's, it's, weird. So it's a twelve by twenty-four then. Something like that, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But it was Looks something I could only it. find on Amazon. I couldn't find it at I couldn't find it at anywhere like, local. So I had to order uh, it from gosh. Amazon. Amazon yeah. did that on purpose. Well, well it was also during have- COVID. During the like the plexiglass uh, shortages and everything else, uh, so like everything was ridiculously expensive. Yeah, so I'll frame, I'll frame this later. <laughs> yeah, well, I should have, but I was really excited, man. I was just like, I, I was just like showing my daughter, and I was showing everybody, like, look at this thing. There's like, oh man, you gotta take care of that. You're gonna bend it. You're gonna do whatever to it. I'm like, you're right. Like, hey, it's a frame ASAP. Yeah, no, that's exactly <laughs> how I feel. I've got like, honest to god, like ten prints sitting in the corner of this room. None of them are framed. And I keep looking at prices of frames, and I'm like, ah, they can sit there for a little bit longer. So these frames, all Michaels, like every month they run a sale where they're like 60% off. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I went Michaels. to Michaels. I couldn't find it there. Michaels, that's why I, that's why I went to Amazon. Yeah. So like this stuff, if it's normal size stuff, Michaels, these are Belmonts. Like every month or so, there's a, a sale that's like buy two Get one free, or they're like seventy five percent off. And that's what oh, I, I can promise different. you, these aren't normal size though. Uh, these are like all very awkward size. Uh, uh, oh, prints. get some scissors. Time to make some right sizes. <laughs> <Scissors. laughs> you you shut your favorite. mouth. You shut your mouth. Scissors. Right, let's, let's do this. I bet let's you're one of those this. guys that like took out the val- the the Marvel stamps too in their comics. <laughs> I am not that old. <laughs> <laughs> That is how I responded to that one, my friend. <laughs> That's too damn old for me. That is too old would've. for this guy. I know I, I took out the tattoos. <laughs> Good lord! No, dude. That's <laughs> what. What else did you guys pick up this week, though? Oh man, the big one of the week! Freaking uh, nice house in the lake is back. Oh yeah, yeah. Bomb. Great issue. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, though. I uh, didn't. I thought it was going to take a different direction than what the issue was. I kind of forgot what happened in the last issue before the big break. But right, then I, like I have to go got, back and read. I I'm thought we got left all. on a I've cliffhanger, but uh, it didn't really pick up, I think, where that one left off. It kind of went back to how the rest of them were written, where it kind of follows just one character and uh, her relationship with Walter. Yes. Mm. I don't know when it's going to... I mean, what is there, 12 issues? Where the hell is this book? So 12, issues. 12 issues. Yeah, so I think that the first omnibus there, too, that's... Not on the bus, oh, that first trade cool. paperback. Oh, I didn't even know they had one of those. Yeah, my shop just got it in. So very cool. The first one just came out. It's good, but, Adam. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm reading this. <laughs> I'm reading this. Oh, I'm gonna give one away too. Love that book. Do you just need my address now? <laughs> <laughs> that's like you know. Yeah. Uh, fun, yeah. fun the, fact. The I'll, I'll draw somebody that follows all three of us can can win this. The persons that went follow all three of us. Can win this book that's perfect oh, i follow I, all three I, of us go. too I don't, I don't, oh man all right let's do this that's actually the only dc book i read i don't read any dc books trust I'm me not... me too and i get shit on it every single week oh every really third... oh dc fans love to crap on everybody that doesn't read dc that's the biggest that's like the the, the best thing on earth <laughs> and so... yo this this right here is the one i get fried for the most dark knights of steel so all so all of my videos, all I talk about is, yeah, I'd like to read more DC, but financially it doesn't really fit in with the way, you know, I buy books. Everything I pretty much read at this point is just an ongoing series or a brand new indie. And every week it turns into, holy crap, you're not reading Dark Knights of Steel? Newsflash, I'm not reading any DC at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I will wait till it becomes Have you a... seen my shows? <laughs> Have you seen... Have you watched any of my YouTube? Hi, uh, welcome. Are you uh, new here? Right, welcome. Yes, hi. I, DC for me stands for don't care most of the time. I'm, I'm going to be honest. If I could financially afford it and I had more time, I would read more DC. To help out with DC fans, I did pick up Why the Last Man on the Bus. I did read the whole thing in like one sitting. It was incredible. It is I also, really. I also bought oh Books of Magic, Volume 1. I didn't read that yet. And then I also got Batgirl's... Uh, Bronze Age on the bus volume one. So I'm getting some omnis at least. Uh, but I'm, single issues, that's gonna be tough for me. I'm getting a few here and there. Um, Soul Plumber is great. Um, the the DC horror line. Honestly, if it's DC Black, it's really DC Black is honestly Vertigo. So let's just let's stop calling it. <laughs> it's, it's Vertigo comics because that was the old that was the best thing they ever did. So it's Vertigo by default, right? Um, in my opinion, anyways. But yes, I've been I've been enjoying Soul Plumber. I've enjoyed a Refrigerator Full of Heads. Um, I've been I'm trying out the new Batman. I'm going to try it out. Um, honestly, the, my favorite book that I got this week was the last <sighs> book you'll ever read. Vault I Comics. love that series. Cullen Bunn's best work, best work, up, best up there for best sure. Thing he's ever written. Wow! Right now. Wow! Yes. So I You're missed out on it, issue four, so I didn't get five. It I've happens. got two fours. I'll send you one, man. Then I need five. I don't have five. Oh, I've got a shop full of them. I can just grab one. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll send you a Venmo or you know, how, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 dude. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I would do that. Yeah, yeah this this series has just been fire. I've and and yeah, I for anybody that likes Cullen Bunn. Honestly, this would be this would be the penultimate read for you, hundred percent. It is great. very good. Vault's been doing a wonderful job too um, of keeping it, keeping it um, like super non like ad full and other crap. And they they do really great jobs with their books, their card stock. Um, it just feels like a wonderful book, super good quality. Vault's got a home run here. 100%. I can agree with that one. Uh, this one. This is funny. Adam, dude, you act like Marvel's top tier. I'm going to admit, I talk highly of Marvel because I grew up with those characters, so I know a lot I, about them. I, but I, mean, I will I admit... Indy, I think Indy's is top tier right now. I think Indy, Indy is top tier. Indy's Indy top tier right now. Marvel seriously Marvel. does piss me off with a lot of stuff. It really does. Mm-hmm. Like, those 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 five-issue miniseries, they almost feel like complete cash grabs. I mean, I love What If. I love Miles Morales. That's what this is. It's a cash grab. Oh, yeah. They, work. they have my... They have my cash. Totally Spider-Man? Yeah. 
<laughs> this new volume's been fun, but hear me out. They're creating another number one of Spider-Man and just rebooting the entire series. So yes. it's like, yeah. Yeah. come on. At just least like I can doing with that. Strange Academy, like you were yeah. talking about. That is so People incredibly annoying. I do yeah. get, though, why they're doing it. They're revamping it and calling it year two. So uh, it does make sense. But okay. when I first heard that and they're like, yeah, they're canceling Strange Academy, I was actually pretty upset. Like, you're seriously canceling it? Yeah, and they're uh, restarting it. Wow. With the just, same with the same with wait, wait with the same creator creating team? That I don't know. Yeah. That I, I wouldn't don't, be yeah, surprised. I have no idea on that. Oh, I mean this is what I'm excited to read. I've been hearing that's really good too. Actually, a couple people are uh were asking about that too. I saw a couple comments about Radio Spaceman. Uh Don who, asked who about wrote it. that one. I think it's Mike Mignola. Is that what it is? Oh, it's Mignola. Uh, yeah. Mignola, it? Mignola. Mignola. Yeah. Mignola. And then Rocco cool. asked about it too. I knew I saw All a couple right. people mention it. Well, he did the, I know he did the cover, but did he actually did he actually do the interior art too? Yeah, it looks like he let's did. All right, brilliant. Awesome. Let, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's open up and see. Let's open up and no, see. Just, that's just read I don't it. Wanna, I don't want to learn. <laughs> just read it right now for everybody. Are I'm going to that? Is that be, we'll we'll put it on our uh, on our Patreon. If you sign up oh, for our yeah, Patreon, right. we'll read you our comics. Um, I would do that. I would sign up right now. <clears throat> I'll set that in pictures of my feet. Um, Ooh. Now we're talking. Ooh. Ooh. Script, nope, nope. Mike Goodbye. Mignola, art, Ta-ta. Greg Hankel. Cover art is Mike Mignola, but um, the interior oh. is Greg Hankel. Boo. Um, he did, Mike, Mike did the script. Mike did the script. Oh, okay. So Mike wrote it at least. Okay. Good. Okay. I get All my right, face Mike out wrote of there. It. <sighs> what, a, what a tease. What a tease. Yeah. I know you people hate are... Hellboy art. I love it. It's different. I don't hate it though. But I mean, this is good. Okay. I'm not, All right. All right. That's cool. I'll give it a shot. I'm not mad with that. I'll give it a shot. Are you guys reading the new Moon Knight series too? I have yes. not. I've got the first three. I've not gotten to read uh, Greg it. Greg Hinkle's good. It, okay. Awesome. But I've not read it. Oh, you gotta you gotta catch yourself up. It, it honestly, I feel like it just keeps getting better and better. I picked really? up that ratio this week for sure. <laughs> Yeah, the Moon Knight, uh, Moon Knight one to twenty five ratio has uh, has, has has pretty crazy right now actually for price point. Is it pretty really? Crazy. Yeah, it's like eighty dollars. Is there a reason why? Uh, Mister Knight, it's a great cover for Mister Knight. I gotta read. Is it another one of the, the like the glove thing like they did for the movie poster kind of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's really cool. It. It's I mean it's not that it's, it's uh it, but it's Mister Knight though. It's, but it's a little different. It's as a uh, oh that's the I ratio. Mean, yeah, that one is you pretty probably, sweet. Yeah, you can probably. I think you can share the screen. Let's see, um, the crossover. I dropped out. Yeah. Of, I won't lie. I dropped out of crossover at like issue four. I just got. If you're a big, if you're a big Danny Cates fan and you enjoy the obscure independent characters, you will enjoy crossover. If you don't enjoy either one of those two things, crossover is not for you. And that's why so I, I like it. I enjoyed the first few. I just kind of got. It just went a little. Yeah. It it did everything. It's like we're gonna just throw everything at the wall and see what happens. Yeah. So my my take on it is I actually thought it, it wasn't good at all. And then that one issue that I think Chip Zdarsky did where he got killed off, I thought that was awesome. But I thought that was like a one and done thing. So I stopped reading it completely. And it turns out they kind of continued on with the writers getting killed off. So I was a little disappointed in myself for that. But man, that first arc, ugh, I did not like that one bit. But also, I'm not a big fan of Donnie Cates' writing. I don't think most of his stuff's all that good either. I I uh, I really am enjoying uh, what this. I really enjoy Hulk, the new Hulk series. I hate that series. I love it. So I haven't much. heard a while. I'm also, if you look at this, if you look at this, if you look at this face, this like that guy. He just enjoys smashing things. So like that's why I really enjoy it. It's and the reason I enjoy it is not because of Donny Cates. I enjoy it because this is the first time in like I don't know ten years plus we've seen Ryan Otley just get to just draw whatever he wants that's the he's the best part of the book he's, i love the artwork phenomenal phenomenal like him drawing hulk is literally peanut butter and jelly never a unison has been so perfect because like you thought what he did with invincible was insane this is like 20 years later and he's doing hulk oh i gotta show you one of the books my guys I've... had me read keep going 
No, I do agree. I, uh, I think the artwork is the best part of it. And I think that's the only reason I still have it on my poll list, but, um, I mean, if there even is a story, which there nope. isn't a story, it's, nope. uh, it's just not good. Do you know what the Hulk is? You know what this Hulk is? I was going to say, I know what the Hulk is, 100%. No, I mean, like, this Hulk storyline. This Hulk comic is the Fast and the Furious, if it was turned into a comic book form. Oh. Uh, That's what it is. People do not watch the Fast and Furious movies for their logistical, making sense storylines. They watch it because they want to watch The Rock drive a tank across the road and make it. That's why they watch the Fast and Furious movies. And they made nine of those things. So, I mean, I really think the Hulk is really for the pure, like, Oh, what's going to happen next on the next panel? That's explosive. That's it. I mean, the concept yeah. is cool. Uh, like a universe of all these Hulks and stuff. I mean, it's not bad, but I want something to happen. Like, what are we? I think there's what, four issues now? Or did we have three issues? Uh, three. So fourth issue, fourth issue, I think, comes out next week, I believe. I'll tell you I what. Just, I- I saw the post about what's his name saying like this isn't Hulk's null. It's not the same thing. Like, <laughs> it's a universe full of Hulks, and there's going to be a bad Hulk. Like, hmm, it doesn't feel like we're redoing the entire Venom thing at all. But whatever, you know, <laughs> just like <laughs> give me Hulk. I mean, I'm going to put him in a universe of Hulks. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> that we didn't do that yet. That work. Venom series work. really lost me as well. Um, after Venom Island, I think it completely dropped off. Venom I Beyond have, was bad. I have a I have a fun uh, theory about the whole Venom thing. You want to hear my right. crazy theory about the Venom thing? Let's hear it. Yeah. Hear it. So, so, it. so it's so it's C2E2, like the C2E2 before the whole pandemic happened, right? The oh, very last yeah. one. I went there. It was phenomenal. There was a Donny Cage segment. Uh, like VIP event that I signed up for to get some stuff signed. I think right around that time, they were like entering issue maybe like 14 or 15 when it was still like, still, 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 you know, still really good. Um, and they're like the way Donnie was talking about this series on like what he has. And he's such an eccentric individual where like, you know, he like, he had all these plans written down. Like he wants to write Venom for like three or four more years. And has the whole thing laid out. And what I think happened is they rushed him to end Venom sooner than he wanted to, which is why I think like people are like how it ended was kind of lackluster. The King of Black kind of felt a little rushed. That was um, horrible, actually. Right, because it was rushed. They didn't like. I, I believe it. I felt that. The, the like what null is like. I think they just have a bigger plan. With Null, and I think there was just bigger things that Marvel had Donnie that going to have him, like take care of that he couldn't spend the time he wanted to on Venom because where he ended it was only like less than two years after that convention where I'm just like, how is it over? There's no way it should be over. He should have like from where he was talking about it and how crazy it was. He was talking like 50 issues easy of hmm. Venom. And so I think my theory is that they made him end it early, which kind of he lost his passion because there's I think there's probably bigger things afoot that we don't know about yet. Um, and I keep going back to like it's no, it's because of no, and I will refuse to let that go. It's my crazy fan, fan theory. You but know, I'm what? pretty confident that Marvel made him end it sooner, which is why it all ended very lackluster. I want to live with thing. that theory too. That's my theory now too. I like that. Take it. I'll take right. That. Like, I would rather live with that and I would rather live with that and think that Marvel made him end it than he actually yep. came up with that himself because it was horrible. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. I, I Venom, that anyways, right? Venom Beyond was absolutely terrible. It was such a cool idea and then it just completely just was nothing and then it just it was, jumped yeah, right into King and Black and it was nothing. And it was over. Then it was yep. over. And now yeah, we have this new so. series that also isn't that good so far. Although the last I, issue was I, really good. I like the last one. But the ones before that were just meh. meh. Hey, I'll put it this way. At my local shop, they still have copies of Venom number one. You know what they don't have in my local so shop anymore? Mine. Hulk number ones. Uh, damn, it's the same oh. thing at my shop. You want to know why? Hey. Because my shop barely why. ordered any. No, nope, my shop ordered exact number of both. Yeah, yeah. my shop didn't order many Hulk. They yeah. uh, It's actually funny. My shop actually... um like. 
together, everyone that reads comics that works there, almost none of them like Donny Cates as a writer. Um, yeah, gotcha. almost every That's single fair. one of them. As soon as like a new like Cates issue comes out, it's like, oh, this, oh, it's a first appearance. It's gonna suck. Like it's just a collective like mind just together thinking that. And here I am what? picking up the issue. Like I hope it's good. I'm spending five ninety nine on this. Mm-hmm. Cross mm-hmm. your fingers, bud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. So if you want to hear some more crazy things, I'm sure you guys already know about Hulk number six, right? I'm hearing it's going to be a big one, but I don't put any stock into anything. I have no idea. Right. Okay. Well, AR, uh, so, so here's the fun thing, uh, Nerd King, is there's, they've already announced the ratios uh, for Hulk number six. Uh, and like, you've like bought that. them all. No. Refuse to buy this one. I'll buy Pokemon? like maybe 20. I might buy 25. Who knows? But – so you know how like one in one hundred, that's like a lot, right? There's actually yeah. gonna be a one in two hundred ratio for Hulk number six. Oh, so we're going it, sick tick on this. Like like is Marvel doing a boom studios berserker thing now? Like a one in one thousand signed by No. This is <laughs> sorry. This is by Donnie. No, man, but there's gonna be a one in two hundred ratio for Hulk number six, which is it's gonna be that Alex Maleev titan cover and i'm just like everyone's gonna order that so like it's gonna like the concept that they're ordering a 200 ratio for issue number six is bananas i wouldn't buy it no i've seen the cover it's okay it's not that great um i believe it that's almost as good as that immortal hulk one in 200 that's uh just a blank purple cover oh man that thing's super expensive it's so dumb i know i agree yeah i can't i can't do it I did enjoy this. These two from the last weeks. So. Oh, I didn't pick I, them yeah. up. I should have. I, I didn't. I ordered. I ordered a bunch of those too. <laughs> this was am... super massive. Was super fun. It was. It's a great last read. Week. And yep. Rogue Son, I am intrigued by. Um, Me too. Damn. I mean, we brought it. I'm so this was. On. This was. I'm going to ask you guys. This was a question we asked on our our show. Is is it a big three now? Is it not a big two? Is it really a big three? Is it really Marvel, DC, and Image? Is Image now not an indie anymore? Because when you look at the when you look at the 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 when you, when you look at the market share, right? When you look at the market share, it is Marvel, DC, Image, and then there is seven percent not taken up by those three, which is really boom. And Dark Horse and every Dark Horse one. Yeah, I no, that's that's that. that's legit. Everything, mm-hmm. everything else out there in the publishing industry is that saturated with image too. It's not it's not like it's a third, don't get me wrong. It's not like the big third, but it's now it's making connected universes, it's doing oh, they are all the stuff now that they're that Marvel and DC are doing. <laughs> And they're huge. I'm really feeling like it's not the big two anymore. I'm really feeling like it's a big three. See, uh, you say big three, and then you said image. In my heart, I thought you were going to say AWA. Oh, <laughs> no, I love AWA. <laughs> they're, now, they're, AWA has stepped up some fantastic storytelling. I thought you were going to say boom. Like no, but, <laughs> definitely not boom. I'm going to be honest. I actually... Uh, Outside of I, something is killing the children, I think they were riding off of that for a long time, and they actually don't have that many good titles at all. Wait, let me think about this for a second. I think you might be right. Let me think about this. Because think about the most oh. recent ones. Berserker's not very good. Maul was Berserker. terrible. Eat the Rich yep. wasn't good. Yep. Uh, Bloodborne, or not Bloodborne, Dark oh. Blood, or whatever that's called. Yeah. That wasn't that, good that was- either. No, yeah. Oh, wait. No. Nope. House of uh, Slaughter's still good. I'm enjoying House of Slaughter. I actually don't really like that either. It's not bad, it's okay. but it's not good. What it does uh, is that I'm, I'm it's like, it. no, here's what house slaughter is. House slaughter is this: like if you go, if you want a burger, um, and you're like, all right, well, I guess I'll just get a fast food burger to appease my appetite for like maybe a better burger. And so house slaughter is like a fast food burger to get the more something to kill children, which is the better burger. I'm interested in all the different. Scarves. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm oh yeah, the house. Yeah, the house. I want to see the blues. I saw, I found yeah, what was good in that. You know, I it's just opening up so much more lore to me. You're right. Like man. I'm Ooh. getting, 
I'm getting, yeah. but other, other than that, yeah. no, I can agree. Boom has been like, I, what was it? The, uh, we, we, uh, the gods thing where, uh, we only find them when they're dead. Oh, I didn't like that. Bring that junk that. up. I that was like the that worst. That no, was the so worst. No, Ugh, I that. that was so. That was so bad. But no, Boom's Boom's been, in my opinion, like dropping the ball. Ooh. It is just like a million reprints, and it's full of ads. Um, just, just what no is bueno. it? The, the last one by Cullen Bunn. Um, Basilisk. Uh, Basilisk. That one's good. I actually do it, like that one. That, but that was it started off really good. It, it did. It started out kind of like, fire. Eh, yeah. I I can agree to that, that too. Hiatus. That too. That hiatus is what killed it for me. And also, yep. all of a sudden, it just came back and it was just like, ugh. Nah. So, uh, super quick to circle back to the House of Slaughter. I think my problem is, is I really like what they did with Jace, like his whole backstory and just why he wants to take down the House of Slaughter. I think that's really cool. But the whole like main plot of this love story, I do not care about it at all. Now, I think if they put Jace in something that's killing the children and maybe we had a little bit more history with him and yeah. then maybe they showed them together a little bit more in something is killing the children, maybe it would have worked a little bit better in this series. But to yeah. just throw them together, a brand new yeah. character, just like, yeah, they yeah. came together and it's happening. Like, why, why do we I think care? if they had held it off longer, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Maybe maybe if this was supposed to be a 10 to 15 issue series and then maybe yeah. you saw something between the two, maybe around five or six and then 10, you start to hit the point where they're at right now. But to just jump zero to 100 out of nowhere with a character, we have no idea who it is like. Yeah. How do you why do we you care? You, right. You want to grow attached to the character, right? You yeah. Wanna, why do we care? You want to you feel for them when they're sad. You want to be sad, like you want to go through those emotions with them. But now Absolutely. as time went on and we learned more backstory on Jace, and it's like, yo, I'm trying to kill everyone in House of Slaughter for this reason. I'm like, yeah, dude, fucking right? kill them. Do, do it. Do it. Burn, burn, burn it down. Yeah, do it, man. Burn it down. But uh, yeah, like if that was the main plot and like the only plot right now, like, oh, they'd have another bomb hit on their hands. But they that is that feels like the side plot in the story, to be completely honest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see I can see your reasoning with that 100. percent I'm 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 at least for me it was the expansion on the lore and getting deeper oh, into yeah. that. That's I'm awesome. not as far as like the characters involved. I'm kind of I, I'm still waiting for Erica. You know, <laughs> oh we all are. Yeah, we got, know, hey, we, got a, we got a couple more. I think it's like two weeks, right? Two more weeks. Yeah, we got yeah, her back. And I'm oh. I'm all there for it. It's just as of right now, this is like you said. It's kind of like you want a burger, but there's no good place to stop. So you're just grabbing this one as you go. You're um, like settling for it. You're like, but, I don't want to really eat this, but everyone else. Does, I need so to here eat we go. Something. I have to eat it. I have, you know, boom, I, have to I have to keep Boom afloat until we get to the next issue. Of, right. <laughs> something's killing yeah. the children. Something yeah. is killing the children. going to come back, and they're going to be like, woo. We made it. I I mean, we got. I mean, I did read the ash can, so I I like. It looks. It seems like it's gonna be really good. So yeah, I'm. I'm elated to get that back. Um, But nice house on the lake, though, has been. um, Oh, that's so far. Like my my absolute. Like every single week, you just pick it up, you look at it, and it's got so much detail. There's always. I, I haven't gotten to read the new one yet. I have not, but that's because I'm reading all of the other ones first again before I get there. Because I'm, I'm just one of those dorks. I I take notes. So no, that's <laughs> a good call go on your end, though. Re- respect. I'm a fool. I don't do any of that. I'm just like, all right, let's read this. And I that's miss what it. I do. Like, I gotta go back. I gotta go back and find this. That's literally what I do. I read it and I'm just like, oh, cool. Two pages later, it's like, mm, hold on. What did I? Did I take any of this? Any of this in my brain? Hold on a second. Who was who was this again? You're like, wait, go back. Wait, what's her name? I know. Uh, all right, there. There. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 me. That's what I have to do for this one. So I'm I'm gonna find time this weekend between that and Batman, and you know, go see a movie and read a book. So yeah. Are you guys gonna see Batman? I would like. I know to you see don't it. read it, but oh, I, it? I mean, this, I would like I to wanna, see it. I, I gotta find time. I gotta time for me is very precious. So finding time is challenging, especially when you got kids. 
So I was going to say maybe you should go see it on Sunday, Skeff, but it seems like you might be busy now. Oh, I'm going to be super busy. I will have I I will be comic hunting from Friday till Sunday. So I will uh, <laughs> be preoccupied, very occupied, trying to find some find some crazy. Well, I good thought deals. it was your new Sunday, your new Sunday thing on whatnot. Which one? See, that's it. Crew? He's a legend on whatnot. He said, which he one? He doesn't even have a fucking clue. Like, it's just like every day, isn't it? <laughs> he said, I, I'm, yeah. doing, I'm doing what on whatnot? I'm like, I'm like trying to hype you up here and like and like toss you a softball. And you're just like, no, what? No, the, no, uh, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. So, so that's, Sunday. That's for me and God. <laughs> just trying to keep it on the DL, right? No, uh, but yeah, no, Sunday. So, yeah, so this is like, I got a show. I'm going to have a show uh, Saturday night. All right, I'm, I'm trying to have a show tomorrow. And then Saturday night uh, and Sunday. What time tomorrow? Sunday night's gonna be tomorrow, maybe at three o'clock. I have no idea. Just don't do five o'clock. I mean, I'm trying to make the shop some money, bro. <laughs> you gonna you gonna steal All everything? Right. All right, I won't do it at five. I won't do it at five. Promise. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a raise, man. <laughs> oh man! All right, well, just come over here. Come over to Scott's Comic Knowledge. <laughs> um. So yeah, tomorrow at three o'clock. But I'm do Saturday. But Sunday night though. I'm gonna try to do something crazy. Uh, yeah, that promo, that reel that that, that Oceanside made was yep. super cool. That super, mm-hmm. that was a super cool graphic. Uh, but no, Sunday I'm gonna try to try to break the app on whatnot on Sunday. Try to get like 250 viewers. Just I'm gonna give away like 800 dollars worth of free stuff on Sunday night. You're insane. Nice. Eastern. Yeah, so nice. give away like 800 dollars worth of free stuff given away. Trying to get 250 people in the chat, uh, but yeah, we're gonna try to try. To, I'm gonna try to break it. I got all indies, all independent books. So hell yeah, bro. All indies. I hope yeah, the best no, for you. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, nervous, always nervous. Fun fact: I get nervous before every show I do. Still, really, every show I do, I get nervous. At, like Why? right before I go, I'm just like, Whew. you make videos. Show. How can you get nervous? Because the, I, when I make a video, I'm talk, No one's in the house, and I'm just yelling at my phone. But when you're like live, there's that like I can't like you know. <laughs> I just gave Nerd King like an image of just me screaming at my phone. And I love screaming that. at your phone. I'm just in there like. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, but for the live thing, it's because like it's is that where it's like it's in the moment. There's no like edit, pause, rinse, delete, clip. Uh, if you're not ready, if something happens, but I get ner- and also I want to, I want to have a good time. I want to make sure people will, like have a good time. So it's like, it's just that end for like, all right, let's go live. I still get nervous. Um, and I just want to have a good show. Hell Do you yeah. know how to break those nerves? Here's how you're going to break those nerves. Okay. Skeff, I, I don't know how, I don't know if it's uh, I know you can't ask women how old they are, but how old are you? I am the ripe old age of 34. Perfect. I'm 29, so you're not that much older. Okay, what you uh, what you got? Yeah, I know, nerd king. I'm like, you talking about cut out the full I'm like, I don't think he knows how young I am. <laughs> you got it. You got to throw on. All right, hear me out. Go on Spotify, because uh-huh. I know you play. Because you play music during your stuff, right? Oh man, yeah, I hit that. I hit them beats hard. Boom. You got to throw on. I love my East Coast classics. It's like all 90s rap. And okay. I just catch myself singing the whole time and I'm reading okay. comments and I'm having a blast. Okay. It's just, it's just that's, so much that's fun. That's all puffy and biggie. And that's, uh, yep. yeah, that's, okay. I used the to Wu-Tang be a clan, RB man. Station, uh, <laughs> DJ. The RZA. Back in the, yeah. 90s. the GZA, so, yeah, the I'm old there, dirty baby. bastard. See, <laughs> see, you're starting it right then and there. That's what you got to do, all man. Right. You just got to get into right. it. So, okay. So not Miley Cyrus. So, Probably for a question for you guys, then, <laughs> hard no. Who is the all-time best-selling artist of Def Jam records? All-time <laughs> best-selling artist. Come on, on man! Def I, Jam records. I thought we were talking. Not, you have to I, hit me. You I, didn't have to hit me with some trivia. Well, I used I, to be a DJ I, for a radio station, so these were these were the things I would Def do on the old school lunch hour. I don't know. DM, DMX. No. No. Not, Def Jam. Literally, I have. I have nothing in this. I have no skin in this game. I have no idea. I know why well, no I'm, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving AR a complex right now. He's thinking he's just well, like, I'm trying oh, to think of all I'm my West coast rappers here. here. Well, it, Def are, Jam though was a little bit more East coast and think of too, that I, Def Jam technically started in the eighties. I thought, Def I thought Jam Def was Jam was West coast, like all the West coast nineties rappers. Sugar Hill gang. No, no, but you're on the right oh. track. Oh, wanna, there we go. 
I wanted to, I, I mean, Tupac is such an obvious guess, but I, it's got to. Oh, I'm thinking, yo, I'm yeah, thinking, of, yeah. I was thinking of Death Row the whole time. Yeah. So Def I'm Jam. Sure was, Def was, Jam is more East Coast. You're right. I was thinking of Death yeah. Row Records. It was the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys are the most all-time sellingest artists of Def Jam record history. That makes me sad. That's cool. <laughs> oh, Beastie Boys is awesome, though. But the Beastie they, Boys were they, doing it for a long time, right? They and are, they stayed with yeah. Def Jam the whole time. A lot of people they forget. Did. A lot of they people didn't. forget. So, I mean, this isn't, this is, you know, No Stop Till Brooklyn wasn't like the first and only thing. We weren't just, you know, it wasn't just Brass Monkey for a minute. It was all the way to Intergalactic and, I was you know, we went to a couple Tibetan Freedom concerts and, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, they're legit. LL Cool J is a great guest though, Braden. Um, great guest, but yeah, no, he's, it's not it. It's not it, but yes, that was it. That was Beastie Boys. A little bit of trivia, like knowledge drop for my friends here today. Boo! <laughs> boo. <laughs> what a freaky boo! This work. <laughs> yeah, boo. Us smooth How brains over you? here just want to look How at pictures. How dare you make my brain work at this hour? How dare We're you? all on computers. Couldn't any of you fools Google it? <laughs> just, I could do that. That's theory. not fun. I could do that. <laughs> Right, literally no sleep. So no sleep. I don't know about Brooklyn, but no sleep right here. So, mm, oh absolutely. man, that's, that's the story of life. Story of life. Oh. Yeah, Great. it's been a long day on my end. Yes, it has been. It has been, and, and I should probably, you know, I should probably say that it's probably getting a little bit late for my old forty-three-year-old ass. So forty-two. Oh, you're so you're so you're all forty-three. Man, I hope I'm gonna be forty-three in July. Oh, you're not forty-three yet. Yeah. Yeah, we'll oh be some minute, okay. but I'm gonna be uh 30 in November. Oh, 30 in November. Mm, I can't even say it. I'm fucking sick. really. It, you, that, welcome. You just that, that just becomes your normal. Your knees will hurt when you turn 30. It just things will take longer. It'll just like honestly, I, fun- your 40s are your 30s, but with your shit together. You know, it's it's nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's the way. That's the way I always said. But then again, I said too about my 30s or my 20s with my shit together. Um, I basically I'm always somehow figuring out how to get my shit together during that decade <laughs> of my age. But at any rate, you know, um, we're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend. Got to fake it till you make it. It'll be good. Fake, well, I'm good at fake. <sighs> that's what I've been doing. Right. I'm good at fake. I'm pretending. I'm pretending to be a YouTuber. <laughs> me too clearly clearly i still have no idea what i'm doing two years later so <laughs> but you're having fun and people know yes. you're having fun and that's why they like yeah. you you're a good guy yeah i'm i enjoy this this is uh i love yelling at my phone it's so much fun there yeah are, we, we can tell yeah i am very animated i'm very loud there's a lot of people out there that uh you can you can i don't know when you meet them in real life and then when you see them make videos you know they're uh, not the same person oh no um, i'm this very obnoxious um, loud person in person but see people people <laughs> see that they know that yeah, yeah. maybe not someone... obnoxious but they know you're a genuine good dude <laughs> they can see that someone, someone saw me at c2e they, they, they go like you're just like you are in your videos I'm like well what do you expect i'm not gonna put on an act that's way too much work <laughs> as he walks as he walks away and goes straight to the whatnot booth Welcome yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. I'll be back. I gotta go do a live show. No, I gotta go sell a boat. I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta go. Leave me alone. Gotta go. Yeah, what, You're messing what with my money? What not's handing me a stack of books. You need to get out of my way. I, I gotta go do I gotta go to work. I literally have to go clock in. I have to go do my job now. <laughs> Congrats no, on those awesome, um, the sale the other night too, those um those invincible covers. That was, uh, oh yeah, the, oh yeah, yeah, that one. That was uh, that was pretty. Uh, oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. man. Right, he struggled his beard like that was all right. That was all right. <laughs> that was so what? Uh, I have, I have. I don't no know words. what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that. I don't. What, other than the book that sold the what not? No, no. This that man was said crazy, what day? Man. What day was what it? Day, right. What day was that? Was that yesterday? Was that today? I can't. I can't keep track. I gotta write these down. Um. No, nah, man. It was crazy though. I can't believe. I can't believe that Adam. It was Indie Week. It was that Adam Eve. Adam E. Foyle yeah. hit two thousand dollars. I'm like, 
I, Damn. At first, I thought you were showing it because I thought it was somebody who could be like, oops, I, I forgot a zero or something like that because that happens sometimes, right? Right. Not, like people mm, mess up. not this time. No, so. that's not, <laughs> I, no. Well, no, I saw the history then like of all the different numbers crawling out there. I was just like, holy shit. Yeah, the the final total sale uh, I added once it passed two thousand. Like I didn't think it was gonna break like fourteen hundred because I went last, and I was like uh-huh. I was watching everyone else, like a couple of people selling theirs. I'm like, no one's gonna want my copy because everyone's already sold their. Like everyone's like, who's no one's gonna have anything left to buy mine. So I'm like, all right, yeah, break break twelve hundred for the love of God, please break twelve hundred. And then like it did, and then like it got to two thousand. I'm just like. I, I got to add something uh, to the pile. What do I have to add to the pile? Add some, <laughs> and then, like, I added the other, like, I added a, like, I don't mean, all right, that's in the pile now. Because I'm like, it's already doing, and then they got crazier again. And I'm just like, I need to add more things. So I had another thing in the pile, and it hit, like, it, it got up to 29, 29.50 was, like, the final total for, like, all three books. And so, then he took very, the rest of the month off. I know I, that's the trick. It's like once that happened, my brain is like, "How do I do that again?" Yeah, I'm like, "What do I need to do?" <laughs> I need to rinse and repeat. Calls up whatnot. May I, may I have another, please? <laughs> they please, go like, sir, "Can I have some who more?" Did, who did new number? <laughs> he wants more, more, more. Right. Um, All right. Nah, it was a, How can you have any faith if you ain't teach him? Yeah, Skef, okay. Don's right. got something for you. Yeah. Because I, kn- right, I know Nerd and I aren't included in this one. Yeah. Don, right. Don, listen. They are whatnot exclusives. You got to be on the whatnot. But we got to be on the whatnot. On the whatnot. We, we know the whatnot guy. We know hey, the whatnot yeah, mate. Hey, he, he's, the, he's the guy. He's the guy. He's the guy. So here, here, fine. I'll give, the, I'll a, give a little exclusive. A little exclusive for the chat here right now for Sunday Ooh. for my Sunday show. Oh my god! I will be giving away an invincible book on Sunday for free. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah. Damn. What do they have to do? What do they have to do? You Just gotta make there? sure you're there Sunday night because the giveaway is gonna happen at any point during the show. All you gotta do is when I put it up for a giveaway, you just gotta enter and follow. And that's it. You get a free book. I think you I'm gonna join. People? You should. You should. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, the giveaway is going to be a stacker giveaway where I said, remember, I said it's going to be like a, like $800 worth of giveaways. Yeah, Every right. 50 entries that we hit for that giveaway, I'm adding a book to the pile. Uh, I think I'm going to definitely join. Just definitely join. Yeah. So it's going to get, I think it maxed out. I'll like download the WhatNot app and I'll follow oh, you. I'll send, yeah, I'll send you a link. Get $10 off your first purchase. I'm not, I don't, I don't even <laughs> have the funny. app. I'll check it out. <laughs> I'll do it. You yeah, made a believer. Well. Yeah, man. It. You gotta come. You gotta come. Gotta come see me in action. I will. Absolutely, man. I'm there. I and just I see your highlights on Instagram. That's all I have. You know. <laughs> They're pretty fun. No, but I will. 100. percent I will be giving away an invincible book, among other surprises. Uh, Scaf, night. We got a question. Yep. Oh, what is the one? No, not. It's Scaff's comics. So just type in Skef. I'll be the only username with Skef in the name. So makes it super I'm, easy. I'm pretty sure his face is there too. Yeah, you can see you can see my uh, my emoji with the beard. Basically, yeah, exactly. something along Dude, those lines. It, it, it makes it super easy to find people, right? Like you was just like, I'm the only Skef, and I got the face, and he's just like, that's the guy. That's the guy. So he's the be guy. There. It's good. I kid you not, man. I'm gonna try to break the app. I'm gonna go for the most amount of viewers I've ever had in the show before. I'm gonna try to get. Nice, I'm try to re- break, break my old record. Well, I know you kill well, it all I'll, the time. I'll show up to help. I'll show up to. Yeah. I'll show up to be there. And, hey, I'll, and you I'll, might, uh, you... I'll put up a post too on Instagram. You know, if you okay. put up an advertisement, let me know, and I'll yeah. I'll, post it I'll, I'll, add, I'll add to my story. I'll add to my story. Yeah. So Tag me. I'm excited, that. but yeah, it's uh the whatnot thing has been. I mean. I, I'm like I said, I, uh, I'm going to be doing this full time with whatnot for the rest of this year, so should be exciting. Good on you, brother. That's awesome, man. That's, that's actually good, that's really good. Good. On a solid note, though. With that being said, it is 11:30, almost 11:40. We've been going for a little over an hour and a half. That was a lot of fun. 
Yes, it was. Um, everyone in the house right now, thank you all so much for hanging out this evening. We've got 23 folks in the house right now. Thank you for sticking around the entire time. I had a lot of fun. This is our first episode together. Um, we're going to probably get a little bit more, you know, now that we did one together, just an idea of how, you know, where to go forward with it. But to be honest, I honestly did have a lot of fun talking with you guys. Um, great conversation. The le- I mean, Skef- Skef's a legend. Anytime he mentions the word whatnot, it's like <laughs> just – I get paid. I a get chef's paid. kiss. A chef's kiss. I get kiss. paid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you guys so much again. What was it like um, in uh, the movie Idiocracy? Like, why do you keep on saying to you, brought to you by Carl's Jr.? He's like, because I got paid every time I do. Yeah, every <laughs> um, time I'm I like, do. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> why do you keep on saying whatnot? Because I get paid every time I do. I get I paid. Do. I get paid every time I, I think, do. I think every time he said it, a dollar fell from the ceiling. Just like, <laughs> I think I saw it. <laughs> I'm just going to start throwing quarters at him. <laughs> Do it, right? I'll make, make it hail, baby. Make it hail. Make it hail. Make it hail. <laughs> it's a bad strip club. It is. Oh, man. It is. Change only. No, I, Change I had a great only. night tonight, guys. And really thank you for inviting out and um, hanging out. Let me hang out with you guys. So um, enjoy it. Yeah. Absolutely. Gonna start. going to start trying to get my own YouTube thing here going with you guys. So. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, all their links are down low in the description. Uh, their YouTubes, their Instagrams are all linked. So check them out if you haven't already done so. Uh, one true nerd king, he just said he's going to be getting more on top of the YouTube game. He's been putting out shorts. I've been watching them. So uh, check it out. skef has been a little bit more inconsistent, but oh, yeah, I know you, put out a, you put out a video recently and you're killing it on I, whatnot. So that's all that matters. I, I watched that video yeah. too. That's good stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Of course, I watch all of them. The- I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, a little recap video. So there'll be more coming now that I have the time uh, to to do them more consistently since this will be my full-time gig. That's awesome. That's always good to hear. I like when people do, uh, you know, they do stuff that they're happy. That's always good to see. But uh, stay tuned. Next Thursday, same deal. We're going to be doing this again. Uh, As of now, it's going to be my channel at 10 o'clock EST again. And with that being said, thank you again, everybody. And tune in until next time. Don't forget to subscribe to everybody. It does help out. Bye-bye. See you guys. Peace. Uh, adios.